Hey guys, what is going on? Codino here today. I'm bringing you guys episode 10 of our instanced mount guide. This will be a really, really quick video. But before we hop into the actual video, I want to say thank you guys so, so much. Uh, you guys have shown a crazy amount of support. The insane amount of subscriber influx, the likes, the comments, the extra tips in the comments. Just thank you guys so much for all the support you've shown. It really makes me want to continue this series. And I really hope that means that you guys are really enjoying this series. So let's hop into it. Anixia's Lair. How do we do it? How do we get there? So I'm going to show you the Alliance version of this because it'll make this video much faster. And I'm going to tell you how to get there as a horde. So here I am on my level 46 Alliance Mage. This is actually the character that got me the mount. Uh, she was the only character that ran the instance every every week because of this trick. So, also if you guys don't know, if you have the Hollowed Helm, uh, you can transmog it only during the Hollows uh, event. So, make sure you uh, do that. Like, four of my characters have the helmet on right now. So, let me explain the Horde way to get there first. I'm not going to show you guys because you guys should be able to follow this easily. So, I'll use markers. But as you can see right here, so here is Anixia's Lair, right at the bottom of Dustwall of Marsh. So right there, where my where this little circle is, right? So the fastest ways that I believe to get there are you can fly from Orgamar way up here. I think that's probably the longest route, but that is a that is that is a possibility. You can also go to Caverns of Time, which there is multiple Caverns of Time portals. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there is one in the bottom of the Orgamar uh, portal room. You just gotta talk to the NPC. Um, or no, you don't have to talk to the NPC. But it's all, I think there's also a Caverns of Time portal in Dalaran. So you can do that as well. Or if you guys go to um, Zoldazar, there's a Thunder Bluff portal. And you can take the Thunder Bluff portal and fly down here. So I'll leave dots on the map as you guys will see in the video. Uh, you guys can decide which one you think is the fastest. But if you are Alliance or if you, at least if you know an Alliance Mage player which is why I made my own. I actually made this character specifically to run this. As you can see in my teleport list, if we go, we got Iron Forge, Darnassus, Exodar, Theramore, and that's what we're looking for. So we're looking for Theramore. You guys will see when we teleport to Theramore, we will teleport to the same zone that Anixia's Lair is in, which just makes this entire run like ungodly fast in comparison to having to fly over there, which is the reason I never actually did this. So here we are. You can see Theramore Isle as it's absolutely destroyed. If you guys... Remember back when this wasn't destroyed, you're no G. Let's go. So, that giant mound right there is an Exodus layer. I am, like I said, going to be running this on this character. Once again, proving to you guys that any character can run this. This character isn't even level 60 like Kodino is, the character that I usually use for these videos. She is level 46. She's actually the character that I have camping for the uh, Polar Bear Mount. Which is annoying because the quest doesn't always spawn. So... I could have like 20 attempts right now, but alas, I have like 12, even though she's been here for like a month, because the quest doesn't spawn half the time, which is ridiculous. So, if we check real quick, I want to show you guys, uh, Anixia's Lair does have a 10 and 25 man, however, the mount does drop on either, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I want this sword so bad. Look how cool it is. Horribly textured, but, yeah, so I'm just going to run on whatever difficulty it's already on, uh, 10 man. It doesn't matter. You know, go for whichever one, tra whatever transmog you like better. Oh. Interesting. Can you tell I got the mount a long time ago? I'll be right back. Alright guys, we are back. Uh, it's been a little while. <laughs> I made some food. Uh, and I came back and someone had killed me. But, it is what it is. Here we are. We're inside of Nix's lair. As you can tell, I didn't want to run the 800 feet with no flying. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, rest sickness. You guys can actually jump off the side right here. Uh, we're going to test how hard this is going to be. Um, with rest sickness. <laughs> I might have to cut the video because I might not be able to kill these things. I want to say I am, but a, I, don't, I don't know how to play mage. So, that's, you know, a big part of it. Oh, I forgot I have this, like, Haliki add-on or whatever. Oh, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Let's see. I hope you guys see my amazing Fire Mage skills and you're like, wow. That must be the best, most optimal way to play Fire Mage. Because, just look at his damage. 
Wow, dude. I yeah. I honestly, I should. I think I should just made a fire mage. I'm kind of. I'm kind of goaded off the sticks. Not gonna lie to you guys. Alrighty, we're gonna do one of these. And I'm gonna run like a little girl. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do that. You're still alive. No, you're not. Oh. All right. Well, there's that. So that, that is the little bit of trash that you do have to run past. And here we are on Elixir, as you guys can see. Rain to the next one, Drake, already known. Uh, this boss is really easy. There's really nothing to it. Um, you just you just blow her up. Alrighty, we're gonna blow all the coolies. I'm gonna hard cast this. And I'm gonna go bop, bop. And then we're gonna go, oh, I screwed up. Yeah, I screwed up. Oh well. I do that, and then look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that damage! Dude, best fire mage to ever exist, to be quite honest with you. And as you guys can see, coming from the sides, we'll have all these Anixian whelps coming around. But that's okay. We'll deal with them accordingly. Oh, they actually kind of hurt. So, all you guys have to do is uh, DPS her down so when she lands, she dies. Unfortunate. Haha, -ha. now what? There we go. And there's the Nixia. Uh, you always get the same type of things. So, uh, also 22 slot bag, pretty sick. And uh, hey, look, I got the sword that I uh, can't use on this character. So, thanks, I guess. Uh, you always get the head and then the bag and then the sack of gems, which is just like really old, like, uh, I guess, wrath gems. And yeah. So there's the run, a little bit of a weird one because of, you know, we got we hit a couple of hindrances, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys can easily farm your Anixian Drake. Uh, if you guys want to level up a, a mage to make this a little easier, an alliance mage, this is the time to do it when we got the winds of wisdom. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support for the first 10 episodes. Uh, if you guys watch this point, you're going to know that I actually do intend on doing glory achievements. Oh no, I know. Maybe not hero achievements like dungeon achievements because that would be a very very long video i'd have to cut up in multiple parts and i don't know if you guys would want to watch that but if you guys would be okay with watching a multiple part series of the dungeon achievements and the raid achievements uh let me know what kind of what kind of videos would you guys be down to watch when it comes to the glory achievements so yeah that's all today thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i hope to see you in episode 11 later